Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in studio today. I'm so excited to see you all. It is Saturday. And when I read the comments and wait for you all to come live, the comments are so uplifting. Oh, I'm so excited to see Tony. I'm so excited to see what she's doing today. Fills me with joy. I think, oh, there is really people that do want to come and say hi. So thank you, everyone. If you are brand new to our channel, my name is Tony Darrick and this is the How to Craft Network studio where you can come and buy some goodies should you wish. Or if you want to just come and say hi and grab some inspiration, take it away with you and play. We're also cool with that as well. If you are watching on YouTube, you must click that subscribe button. This gives us a wider reach and it also allows you to be incorporated in everything that we do in our studio. There's also a little bell which will give you that half an hour of notice when you start eating a Kit Kat. So when you've forgotten, just like me. So if you are watching on the Facebook page, it's lovely to see you all. I know a lot of our USA fans watch through the Facebook page. So thank you for joining us. It is eight o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. So welcome to the studio, everyone. In today's lineup, I've got some amazing, amazing products for you. Some of which we've never had in studio before and we haven't even taken them to TV yet. So I felt like it'd be a great opportunity to bring them live in studio today for you. So we've got three, four, five, seven items. Across the board today, we have buy three, save 10% as well. So if you are a club member, you also get that 5% discount plus the extra saving of 10%. And I always give you an incredible price anyway than what it normally is should you see it elsewhere. So shall we crack straight on? I will come and say hi. I don't have a dual screen and plus I can't see my eyes are not great. So I will come over and say hi to all of our lovely friends. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Saturday. I hope you've got a cup of tea and let's just have some fun together. Has anybody got any nice plans for this afternoon? I think we're going to go for a nice frosty walk this afternoon after studio. So let's talk about item number one on the counter now. These are your Isink ink pads. On medicine <laughs> they are huge um i think actually retired these not so long back and i was like why did you do that we need big ink pads for um coverage on cards and i think i just caught them in time before they actually put it to bed they're like oh, okay okay you can have some we don't mind what do you want i was like yay so i have five collections of ink pads today they're an eight centimeter by eight centimeter pad and I'll show you them in a second. And we have three pigment ink sets and we have two dye-based ink sets. So if you do like your bigger pads, um, then you've come to the right place. But if you do have the smaller ones and you're thinking, do you know what, my budget is really tight, I can't afford them, you don't need them. If you have the smaller ones and you're happy with them, you don't need the big ones. But if you do use the big ones and like big ones, we do have the offering of the large ones today. I know we like to sell our products. It's my business. This is how I earn a living. But I always do say if you have something in your stash that works, stick with it. OK, but if you like it, then you can buy it. You also accrue those points where you get extra discounts. And I know a lot of you have moved from entrepreneur and now hobbyist. So, you know, some of you are moving up and gathering those points and getting those extra savings as well. You can also join the club as well. Well, that will put you in for all the sales just dedicated for club members and goodie bags. We had a corker a couple of weeks ago and you also get the discounts on the website when we're not also live as well. And predominantly we are live most days. I have so much planned for a few weeks. You are going to be busy with me. So let's talk about item number one. So it's five pigment ink pads. Now you'll have seen me on TV yesterday talking about the pigment ink pads. So they're like more like an acrylic ink pad, so you can't really see through them. So if you're wanting to get that intensity and that vibrancy on white card, coloured card and black card, these are the inks that you need to go for. They're also brilliant for your embossing as well. So if you want to throw some clear embossing powder over the top, you're going to get the colour come through. They dry slower, which gives you the capability to blend them and work the magic with them. They've got oil in there, so they're oil based, which is going to give you that great coverage. And when you would normally with a dye based ink have to layer and layer and layer and get cramp, maybe sometimes to get that depth with the colour, these are vibrant from the offset. So let's talk about item number one, one double zero one three three. Let's show you them. So they are an eight by eight pad. OK, so let me just hold this one up for you. Here we go. Look, so this is your tropical bundle. So this is quite a bright set of uh, pigment ink pads. Now to show you how big they are, these are the ones that we have sold. So these are your five by five and these are your eight by eight. So you can see 
They're a big old ink pad, really big in the hand, really lovely. Get that coverage down. So in here, I'm just going to go through the colours in this specific collection. This one is your Tropical Bundle 100133. Now, if you do like three sets of the colours across the board, you will save an extra 10% if you want three of them. There are also some lovely stamps and stencils in the show as well. So wait till I get to the end of the counter. Okay, so if this is one, the next one in the set is a beautiful, vibrant pink in there as well. The next one in the set is a navy. Thank you. There we go. Turn them this way and then we can all see. And then we have a beautiful green. So this is your tropical set, 100133. I have a feeling most of you are going to go for tropical because it's got that beautiful fuchsia and that beautiful pink. And we can't go anywhere without a teal. So teal, green, blue, pink and sort of a really dark, reddy, purpley colour, but burgundy maybe. So that's item number one, one double zero, one three three. Five pigment ink pads, eight by eight in size. If you are just shopping and you're not a club member, twenty six ninety nine. But if you are a club member, you're going to get them at twenty five sixty four. And if you buy three, save ten percent, you're going to get them at twenty three pounds. Works out about four pound fifty an ink pad, which is brilliant for the size. And we all know that eyes ink is amazing, and you know second to none and affordable. So let's move on to the second item on the counter, which is also a pigment one. Different colours in this one. Now, this one is bright. So let's just quickly go down. I'll just move those over. I wish I had a bigger counter. Oh, there we go. So we have this beautiful sort of pale, like wheat, um, corn, blue colour. Then we have a true purple. Then we have a beautiful daffodil yellow. And we have a beautiful orange. So don't forget, you can always pause the show, go back and watch the show. I won't be coming back to the counter. I have quite a few demos prepped. So, you know, always go back and check the colours. If you're thinking, oh, I'm not right bothered now. But when you want to have a look later, you can go back and have a look. The, the video never goes away. It will stay on YouTube. And if you share the video, that would be brilliant. And if you pop a comment underneath, I always pick a winner for a fabulous giveaway, which I'll talk about shortly. The last item on the counter, I think this is a must. If you've got colours in your stash and things like that, this is probably a great, great must. So I'll just show you this one. This is your metallics. So we have the fabulous black. Now, this stays wet for a while, which is brilliant. Oh, sorry, that's my fault. I'll just move it over. There we go. So we have the beautiful black. Now, it stays wet for longer, so you can throw that embossing powder on and work with it. It's, it doesn't dry quick, which is brilliant. Then we have the white. Brilliant on black. You saw me use this yesterday in the mini ink pad. Then we have the beautiful copper. The big these, really big. Then we have the beautiful silver. Now these look like heat embossed images. If you just stamp in this and do nothing more, it looks like you've heat embossed in your golds and silvers. And I will show you that. And then we have the beautiful traditional Christmas gold as well. So gold, silver, copper, white, and black. One zero zero one three five. OK, if you're in the club, 25 64 If you buy three, you get those extra savings that take it down to about £23 for the set. OK, so moving down the counter, let's just move these over. I do have some fabulous dye-based inks now. Watercolouring, inky background techniques, all of the good stuff that we love. These are brilliant for that. So I'm just going to move these over slightly. There we go. So let's show you. So we have the beautiful green. So this one is your vintage. Lots of undertones of brown in this one. So you can create those like vintage backgrounds with the browns and the tea stains and things like that. So I have this lovely muted green. The petrol, which is the blue. And I have the brown. I couldn't find a way to show you all of these colours. They kept falling over. So this is the best way. We have Siri, which is the orangey tea colour. And then we have actually tea, which has got that brown undertone as well. So let me just show you the ink pad. Really, really juicy. And the big as well. So this is the ones that you've purchased in the sets. We see that there? And then there is a large 8x8 centimetre. There we go. So you can see. So there are 
your vintage and your, let's just have a look there, vintage and bright. So your vintage is 100136 and your bright, which I've just shown there, 100137. So there's five different sets. If you like one, just get one. If you don't, stay tuned anyway, because I'm going to show you some demos using them. So let's move down the counter then. So these will be available on our website as well as individuals as soon as we get them loaded on. So if at any point you just want the one colour, you can go and buy the one colour as well. And if you're buying on the How To Craft Network Studio, you're always going to be accruing those points and building. And if you have any points now, don't worry, we're not scrapping them in January. They're keeping them. You're going to be able to keep them for a further 12 months and give you that fighting chance to get to all of those extra savings, free postage, discounts. So the next on the counter, I'll just turn this over here because this is quite exciting. So these are the fabulous Thirsty Brush Unlimited, which is Emma. You all know Emma now. She has Emma's Happy Place on Facebook and we also have the Thirsty Brush page. Tons and tons and tons of inspiration. She, If you cut Emma in half, it would say craft in her tummy. She is crafting 24-7. I'm not joking. She is amazing. And what she comes up with is so inspirational and totally out there. Totally not me, but she does pull me out of my comfort zone as well, which is what craft is all about. So today I've put this lovely bundle together for you. It is three A5 stamps. So you get two of the backgrounds. I'll just push them forward to get rid of the back. There we go. And these are, are her own backgrounds, which she did on her jelly plate. This one here is ones that she's done on a sketch system. And these ones are what she's done on a jelly plate. So add those inks, add those heat and boss. I'm going to make a pretty clean and simple card with this today. And then in the back, we have the one where we've got the four flowers in there like a daffodil, two sort of daisy effects and more like a trumpet flower on there as well. So normally for the price of this one, it would be £50.97. Now these are from Emma's first launch, which is a couple of months ago now. We don't have many of them. Okay, so today HTCM price £39.99 if you are shopping for the first time. Club members £37.99. And again, if you use it as part of your buy three, save 10%, you're going to get further savings as well so that's one zero zero one three eight last item on the counter and then we can go and play oh shall i just show you a couple of samples because i think it's really important to show you how um, and let's just see if these have got names on yeah so we've got these ones here so we have the beautiful bright vibrancy cards this one's from shell bell from the Thirsty Brush Design Team. Thanks for writing your name on the back. It really does help because I have no idea who's doing what. Those beautiful flowers on there and uh, pink painted or pencil work or even alcohol marker work on there. So there's that one. What about this beautiful sort of bookmark design? There's no names on the back. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know who has created. Oh, this one. Else. I've got Denise here. So the flowers in there. Use them in with your textured backgrounds and things like that cut them out and add them to other designs in your stash. So that item number 100138, 2A5 background designs and 1A5 floral design, which is quite easy to fussy cut as well. Emma said, I don't want a dye, they're easy to put. Okay, I do as I do. There we go. So let's move down the counter then and move on to the last item. 100139. Now these are a stencil bundle. I love, love, love Emma stencils. I cannot tell you. I have been waiting for this sort of thing. I can't do it myself. I'm not great at it. But when Emma did it, I'm like, yes, these are amazing. So I'm going to be using these, as you can imagine, in, back in my comfort zone. So 100139. So this is your five A5 stencil bundle. I'll hold them forward in a second to get rid of that nasty glare. But at normally $34.95 if you were to go and buy them as individuals. Today, $29.99. And if you are in the club, $28.49. And again, you'll get those no savings if you've mixed it in with some ink pads or totally up to you. Item number 100139. Now, let me just get rid of that glare and just show you. So we have the sort of floral design here. Here. It looks so incredibly cool with just ink through them and a sentiment. And I've got my washi tape sentiments ready as well. Then I have the boxed in design, which is like boxed squares. Then we have the raindrop style. And then on the back here, we have the two beautiful masks. Just let them up there we go. So these haven't got an outer edge, so you can add the ink to those as well. So five stencils from the lovely Emma Blake. I don't even know if Emma's on today. I'm sure I'll catch her at some point. One double zero one three nine. 
So I am going to work my way over to the other side. We'll have a recap of what is on the counter and then we'll get straight on to some fabulous demos using uh, my best items, the ones that I absolutely love. <coughs> so we have the Isink pigments, set of five. These ones are your brights. I'm just picking some colours off the counter while I'm giving you a recap. These are your beautiful metallic collection. You can all hear me pinching ink pads now, can't you? Metallics, black, silver, copper, absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the dye-based ones, which are your vintage collection. So these are for your like backgrounds. And, and if you're wanting to paint flowers with a bright collection, 100037. Absolutely amazing, so pretty colours. And then we have the lovely Thirsty Brush background collection with those floral elements, 37.99 today if you are in the club. And then we have the stencils. So we have five, six, five stencils in there, all different and unique in design. Now, don't forget, if you order from the show now and then you want to buy something later, don't pay postage on your second order. If the first order hasn't left the building, add it to and you're good to go. So let's say hello to everybody. Let's have a look. My gosh. Hi, Tracy, Marilyn, Jan, Susan, Jackie, Sue, Bridget, Susan and Tasty Smith. I love it. Susan. Hi, Anne. Bill. My gosh. Take a breath, take a breath. So I hope you like what we've brought to you today. I do try, as difficult as it is, to bring exclusive launches to the How To Craft Network studio. And again, it's just a little bit of giving back to all our followers who watch every time, who are getting those points, who are looking for something different. So hopefully there's something there for you today. But if there isn't, I'm okay with it. Stay with me though, because I'm going to show you some lovely demos where if you have all the stencils in the world and all the ink pads in the world, you can still be creative with what you have. Look at you all. So the buy three safe tables, 10% last until Monday, okay? Monday. So at least you can keep adding to your stash should you want to. So let's be creative. So first of all, I'm going to use this background. I think it's so gorgeous. So I have this one here, which is from that stamp, um, stamp bundle 100138. Just move my paperwork so I can read to you what I'm using. There we go, thank you so much. $37.99 if you are in the club for the full complete bundle. And I'm going to use this, oh, oh, let's use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pretty background first of all. Now, these are A6, so you get the two A6 on the A5 carrier sheet. Oh, don't leave me and Carol out, Tony. Hi, Enid. Hi, Carol. Sorry about that. Enid only lives around the corner. I've told you, I'm not Superman and Batman. She'll come and get me. She'll be waiting for me, actually, when I come off air. <laughs> I promise you, everybody beats me up. So, <laughs> the stencils are amazing. Yeah, like I say, we don't have lots of the Thirsty Brush products left. It's just what was left from her launch. We do have lots of ink pads, though, so enjoy the ink pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that, that sort of A6 design onto this piece of cardstock here, and I'm going to show you how um, this gold from the metallic pigment looks like heat embossing, okay? I'm just going to use it as a stamp and just show you how we do not have to get our embossing powders out if we don't have the time to get that colour down. This is going to look like I've heat embossed it, but it'll be super flat. You watch. And with these larger ink pads as well, the, it, they have a new foam on them. They've made the foam a little bit denser and they've also used more glue to adhere it to the base of the ink pad too because... I'm not sure if it happened to a few of you guys, but a couple of the pads came off the base um, when I was doing techniques and things with them. So we have mentioned it, and they're on with um, adding more glue to the smaller ones, and they've made the foam a little bit more denser as well. So they really are a company that listens, and that, that really helps us as crafters, I suppose. So let's just press this down.
<laughs> don't know. I'm used to the minis now, seeing the full size ones there. I mean, look at that. <laughs> so big, I know. <gasps> I'll hold it up in a second. I'm just going to give it another layer. God, it's so nice. And it's metallic as well, which is really nice. I suppose if you're not a heat embosser or you cannot be bothered to heat emboss on a particular day, it's going to be a great shortcut, I guess. Wait till I hold this up and you see how metallic it is. It's really lovely. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Rio. Let me just hold this up and show you. I'm just going to have to move this machine a little bit. Sorry, I've just not got much space. Let me hold this up and show you. It's so... You would not know if it was embossing or not. I would think it's really, really pretty. Hoping you can see that I can't see. I've got that much technology in this room. There we go. Thank you. How pretty is that? So, as I said earlier, though, because they uh, have an oil base, they take a little bit longer to dry. So I am just going to blast it off with my gun so I don't get a mucky paw print. It's so pretty. And I like the white border, too. So I'm, I'm not... It's, it is pretty much dyed, but dry, not dye. Uh, but I just don't want to get a mucky paw print if I can avoid it. Just giving it a nudge. Yeah, Jan, it happened to me as well. So fingers crossed, sorted it out. And even when it's dry, it still looks like heat embossing. Let's get on with making sort of our card design on here. So let's bring in another piece of white card socket. And this time I'm going to use those lovely sketchy flowers that Emma's drawn. So they are quite doodle, can we see here? And there's like daisies, a trumpet, flower. That is more like a tulip, I guess, and two daisy sort of styles. I'm going to go with this one here. And I'm just going to pop it on. Oops, the daisy. Let's just get rid of this stamp. I'm going to stamp this one out in black. And then I might use... Let's just make sure I put this back properly because this is going to be a giveaway. I will clean it, don't worry. Oh, Sue's asking if they wash off the stamp easy. Let's have a look then, Sue. I don't think I have tissue, but I think I do have a microfiber cloth. Just one second. I will check for you. I, I have used them before in the smaller versions and they wipe off fine. Um, just seeing. Just one second. I, will just, I, will, I, will, I want to show you. They're in here. Sorry. There we go. I'll just move it in there so you can see. Oh. Yeah, it wipes off. It still leaves a bit of colour on though, Sue. See that it's still a little bit on there, but yeah, it wipes off clean, so you're ready to go for your next one. You should really clean your stamps as you go anyway, shouldn't you? But some of us are mucky pups. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's ready to go for the next ink, sweetheart. So let's stamp this one out. Roseanne's asking if the electric, if we're doing an electric cooking machine next year. Yes, we are. Yes, I am. Not telling you anything else, though. You know I can't hold my own water. So I'm stamping this sort of daisy design out in black. Yeah, Enid uses a microfiber cloth. It works great. I did have my stamp cleaning cloth, but as you all know, half of it's packed for selling, half of it's not. Sometimes it's a little bit like chaotic, as you can imagine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab some of the ink pads. Now, if, 
I'm going to go this lovely sort of ready purple design on it. Now, I have done it on normal cardstock. You can see how lovely these ink pads look at that. Quite pleased with that, actually. Really, really good ink pad. I'll just pull it on its side there. You can see the change sort of the pad form of itself. I'll just put a little bit, my gosh. Just put a little bit on, and you can always add more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick, I'm using the dye base to paint with, okay? So, oh gosh. I'm just adding some colour to this flower here. I don't care if I go over the edge, I guess, because I'm going to cut it out very quickly. Uh, the watercolour brushes are out of stock, unfortunately. They will be back soon, though. So this, this design is from that background design and the item number for that one is 100138. Now you're absolutely loving the stencils, I don't blame you. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I feel terrible now, look at all this ink on me. On my dawn I've used a corner. <laughs> Never mind, hey. So let's just get some colour down. And then I need to, let's add some yellow to the centre. Oh, Beverly's now on tier two, so you are now a hobbyist. You are now a hobbyist. Well done, sweetheart. So here I'm using that sort of yellow, bright, vibrant yellow. And then what I'll do is I'll mix a bit of this with it. We'll change out the centre, make a brighter red. Can we see that there? Nothing fancy here. Just getting that colour down. The stamps have been designed in such a way that I think colour is key. So I don't think it's necessarily important to get light and shade because Emma's not designed them for that, although you can do that. but. You know, I think it's a case of letting yourself go and having fun with these. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. I would like to get a bit of dimension in the centre of that flower, though. So I'm just going to add. Is that the colourist in me? You're all screaming now, saying, you said you were leaving it. Put the barky pie. Has anybody got the Christmas trees up? Oh, eyes inks are on the way, embossing powders, yes, every colour. They're on the way. Well, let me just dry this one off. I think that, uh, yeah, the embossing powders are, are coming, yes. I've got so, man, so much coming, I, I forget, and so I get a bill. <laughs> when it lands at the dawn, I get a, a bill for taxes. I'm like, ah, ah, as you can imagine. But I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's quickly cut this one out. So... Emma says they're simple to cut out. I do trust and can see that they are going to be simple to cut out. The great thing about, let me just quickly roughly do it. The great thing about um, fussy cutting is you don't have to have a border if you don't want to. So if you do want that white border around, you can go for it. I'm going to go, well, I say I'm going to go close to the design. It's definitely going to have white because my fussy cutting is not the best at all. I'm just going to quickly go around this daisy head here. Uh, Christmas tree is up. Oh, I've... So our tree is up at work. I've told the staff they have to come in Santa hats next week. I know, I know. I'm like, come on. So I will post a picture of our tree. If you want me to, I'll post a picture of our lovely new tree. Which is very sparkly. 
on social media later today after my dog walk. <laughs> I love seeing other people's trees. You have to post, if you've got your tree up, you need to post a picture in the Eureka fan page. Let's have a look. We like to see. I'm nearly done. All the way around. I'm that good at fussy cutting, I've nearly lost the black line. Who cares, hey? Who cares? Sorry, I'm not looking up now. Lynn puts a tree up after her husband's birthday on the 6th. Yeah, some people get it up early, don't they? Some people, we always wait till Remembrance Sunday's been. We don't do it before then. Because if it was down to Tom, it would be up like June. <laughs> June, can you imagine? So what I'm going to do with this sort of lovely background we've got going on here is I don't want to waste this lovely ink on my door. I'm going to add some texture to the back by just diluting it down. Let's get some splats on our beautiful background here. Now you could colour this, it would look amazing, but I just think the beautiful chart embossing on there, I'm just going to leave it clean and simple, but you as a crafter at home can obviously make it more vibrant or add colour or get your alcohol markers out. I'm just going to use that one, then I'm going to use the yellow. Hoping you can see this a little bit. That's better. And then we might use some of that lovely teal just to bring in the stem of that flower. I'll just dry this one off. Oh, Wendy just has ornaments a good idea because you haven't got to take the biggest tree down in the world, get cut to death trying to take it down. So the stencils I, what you're all loving the most and you're all buying the three safe 10 on the ink pads so let's get this card quickly put together so if you are wanting the stencils um one double zero one three nine that's the set of five stencils three sort of five by seven design and then two masks at the back you're loving those guys and you are taking advantage of those ink pads as well so make sure you get in for your favorite colors but we have lots of ink pads it's the stencils and the stamps that are you know we haven't got a lot of so let's get this card put together let me grab some glue from anything that's not blocked hopefully they all look blocked which isn't a great oh i've got my I'll use my tape and see if this works. So I'm going to go black onto this white card here, just to sort of um, frame our design. Then I have our beautiful pattern. I'm going to pop this in the center. And then I just from my stash, I've just got this lovely like wooden sort of ornament design on here, just sort of um, bring the design together, stop it from being so flat, really. Um, this is going to need glue, isn't it? So let's just get a bit of 3D gel. And you're not going to see it when it's quite flat like that, but um, when I stand it up, I'll show you how 3D like it is. One second. A little bit on. I think it's sometimes great to dig out of your stash what you already have. 
So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a pad in on this one here. So once I've done this card, we'll go back to a quick recap of what is in the show. Just going to tuck that green underneath our beautiful sort of wooden embellishment there. We see that there? And then I have just a lovely get well soon stamp out that I've just cut out of white here. There we go. And then I'll probably add some sequins and gems and things like that, but I have another demo, so I'll just hold this one up just to show you. Is that okay? There we go. I think it'll be okay. There we go. Well done. You can see that. Look, look at that. That's that metallic ink pad in the background there. <laughs> so there we go. So that's that one. So I'll just do a little um, recap of the products that are in the show because um, some of the ink pads are more popular than others. And I'll just give you a little bit of a rundown. This is a time to check out if things are sat in your basket for longer than an hour. We do take them out. You can't have them sat in your basket for hours and hours, unfortunately. So just going through the products here. So we have the first bundle, which is the Tropical Bundle. If you are in the club 2564-100133, then your next one, Brights Bundle, 100134. You do get those extra savings if you are buying three. Your Metallic Collection, 100135. Then we have our dye-based ink pads, which are the same size, 8 by 8 centimetre in size. Again, this is your vintage, 100136. Then we have the Brights Bundle, 100137. And the collection that I've just used there, 100138. Four A6 backgrounds and some large flowers. And then lastly, the stencils, which are absolutely flying, so I'm going to use these next. Let's use the stencils. Have a look. Oh, Rio says, when George and I got together, we didn't have much money and he made a tree out of twigs and wire and wired it together in a triangle shape and hung it on the wall for me. I still hang it every year. How nice is that? Have a look. Family tradition. Didn't see it till Christmas Day. Wow. It shows how all different we are, aren't we? And how we all appreciate things in different ways. We all do things in different ways. You know, is it a scone or is it a scone? <laughs> I'm not getting started on that one, hey? You'll all be coming to get me. <laughs> so I'm going to use the lovely stencil, which is a blossom. Because these are absolutely flying. So it's that lovely floral design. And I'm going to use that fabulous, if I can just grab it just one second, the fabulous white um, pigment ink, the big one. Just grab it now. So get, let's show you how these pigment inks work on black and the white one is the best way to show you. So let's just grab a piece of black cardstock here. I've got my white ink pad. and I'm just going to take a stencil from here. And all I'm going to, can you see how gorgeous it is? And with ombre colours and bright colours, it really is a pretty, pretty design. Now I don't think it matters which way we do it, to be honest. Let's go this way. Like so. so. Let's get some ink clay down, hey? Let, I'll go with my sponge daubers and I can really push it through and show you. So let's just grab a dauber. This is going to put that beauty, you could make a lovely Christmas card with this. Can't tell you whose tape pen I'm using, Adele. Might be stamped by me one. <laughs> I'm using a dauber and I'm just going to push this white through and get a lovely floral background on our card here. I hope everyone's having a nice day. I do love Saturdays. I really love to do studio on Saturdays. I love to reach out to the people that have to work like me and everybody else. But I just love the fact that you're all sat at home watching me be creative and then hopefully later in the day you might have a play yourself or pick it up on Monday. It just really fills me with joy that everybody's interacting as well. I love Saturdays. 
And then I know that like this afternoon, as a family, we'll go for a nice dog walk. Spuds and a swimmer. Does everybody know what I mean when I say spuds and a swimmer? Spuds and a swimmer. And then we settle down for dancing. <laughs> or, or a movie, it depends. have our little routines don't we and then Sunday it's school uniforms catch up on a little bit of housework catch up on some social media get ready for Monday and then do it all again Monday <laughs> I'm just getting that white through just get this little bit here Now you can just ink blend it through, you can push, pounce, you can really go to town. I'm just going to add a little bit more white if I can, because I really want you to see how cool this stencil is. Fish and chips, Jan. <laughs> there we go. Look how cool that looks with the white on top. Now if you were to grab another pigment ink now, say a pink. Let me just open this one. Because we've got that white overlay down, you wouldn't normally be able to add a colour on top, but because these are your pigment inks, okay, um, you can overlay on top because they're less opaque, so you can't really see through them. Fish and chips. Spuds and a swimmer. Yeah. So let's grab the stencil again, hopefully see if I can line it up again, she says. I'll line it back up, look, and I'll just show you how these colours you can overlay and build and get it as straight as I can. I think we're good there. Well, let's get some of this pink now. Let's just add some pink to... So we just do the centre so it's like white on the tip. And then pink on top. Hopefully this will show through. I'm not doing it all because I'd like some of the white to stay. But just as, a, just as an example, I'd like you to see how this pink is going to sit beautifully on top of this white. And we're on black cardstock, remember. Let's see what this looks like. Hopefully it shows. There we go. But see how cool that is? The pink's just sat on top of the white. It looks really cool. And you can do the repeat the process. You could now go back in and add some purple on top if you wanted to as well. Now you can get your gel pen and fill in some spaces or you can move the stencil around. And I quite like the sporadicness of it and I do like open spaces as you all know. So I'm going to leave it be. But personal preference, these stencils are flying. I thought you'd like the stencils. I'm just going to dry this one off very quickly because these ones are your pigment that take a little bit longer to dry. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a gel pen and I'm going to connect the design with our wiggly line. I'm really into the wiggly line at the moment. So I'm just going to sort of connect the design. You see here, so I'm just going to... Sorry, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And then I'm just going to go... This is Karen and Emma's fault, why I'm constantly doing wiggly lines now. It's just sort of... Um, Framing your artwork. So I think the wiggly lines are a great cheat if you don't want to do matte and layers. You know, it's because it frames it. But sometimes the reason why we do matte and layers is to get that frame. Whereas I think if you do the um, pen work, sort of like you're able to skip that matte and layer element, particularly if you're into. Mixy media type style. 
Now you could take your gel pen and enhance the centre of here, but you're not going to see it because I've got some work to go over the top. But anyway, it'll make me feel better if I do add some. Now you could add the um, traditional triangle. If, you, if you're not sure about the spaces, a traditional triangle with a white gel pen is always a great way to get rid of an open space. But you're not going to see mine anyway because I'm going to cover it. You see that there? Looks well, quite cool, doesn't it? So let's bring in our second part here. So let's, shall we get a different flower this time from that lovely stamp collection? Let me just see where it is. You're not going to get rid of me today, guys. I'm having fun. <laughs> So shall we do this other one on here? Let's do this one. Let's just see where we're going. There we go. Oh, that fits beautifully in the centre of there. Like it was meant to be. Now, again, I'm going to use that white to stamp this time. So, yep, I could white emboss it and probably I would normally, but because we've got white ink pads in the show, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in white. So the white gel pen is the Uniball Signo Pigment Ink Uniball. So let's just get this stamp on here. Let's stamp this one out in white. It's a lovely white, it really is. <clears throat> so pretty. And then let's just have a look. I'm debating. Oh, no, I'll leave it, I'll spoil it. Getting a bit of a giddy kipper here. So let's just take our gel pen and do the same. So it sort of matches our design. Yeah, it's a white pigment ink. It's the Signo Uniball Signo Broad. I'll hold it here. So if you want to pause the screen later today or you want to go back and shop, they're on Amazon. We did have a lot in store, but they fly every single time. They're a really good one. There you go. Take a screenshot or pause. Write it down. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of bring this together a little bit as well with that frame. And if my image comes into my design, into the, the sort of frame, always go cut it off if that makes sense. Don't like go through your image. Stop at the point where the petal starts and then bring it back out at the other end. So it looks like you intentionally meant for it to work, to be that way. You could throw some clear embossing on it, make it shiny if you want to. Shall we add some, um, let's be creative, let's add some of our own artwork to Emma's artwork. Just to jazz it up a little bit, we can be creative and add your own detail if you want to. I'm not going to do it around it all, but let's just add a little bit of detail, hey? No rules. I think that, I think that looks okay. I'm not sure. And then we just add that stitch in there. Make a lovely little bookmark. I'm going to just blast this off with my gun because that pen will be wet. It's 
so pretty, isn't it? Look. Iris says white on black is really striking. I think sometimes it can be quite scary, can't it? Because we do love a bit of colour. But sometimes just a bit of white on black, you know, looks nice, doesn't it? So let's um, get this onto our black card. Now, I haven't got a matte and layer on this because, like I said, I think that framework is going to talk for itself. But let's have a look. There we go. How cool does that look? It sort of straightens our design as well. Now, we'll do this one black. Now this this is screaming out for sparkles, absolutely screaming out for sparkles. Um, but my picky uppy tool that the lovely Shirley bought me is in my work bag. So I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to do it without now that I have that, because it was an absolute godsend. I have actually I've told you this guys the other day, but I have ordered some pokey tools for our website. Uh, pokey tools, pickup tools. Oh, some other bits and pieces which you've all been asking me for. We don't have lots of them. Um, but I'm just trying to make it so if you do shop from Stamps by Me, we will be a one-stop shop where you will be able to get everything, which means, one, you're going to get a great experience because it's us and that's what matters to us. And two, hopefully we'll have everything you need, i.e. a blue. She says. She says. I'm just going to pop this in the centre. Can we see that there? Quite cool. And then we just grab some of our washi tape, and this is, these are black and white as well, of course. And Bab, you you got this. Fabulous. And with our washi tape, I do like to do them sort of sporadic, not straight. <laughs> It does need some gems, but I'm okay with that. What do we think to that one then? See me leaning there. Ooh, let's see, see if it looks all right. <laughs> uh, question, when is the washi coming back? It's on its way, sweetheart. It really is on its way, I promise you. We did have some deliveries um, of the brown because that sold out, so I reordered that because you all clicked that, notifying me when back in stock, so brown came. Black has been back but sold out. So that's that one. And then we have the pretty one with the metallic ink pads as well. Two totally different cards, eh? How do you like that? Do you enjoy the show today? I hope you have. I switched the cameras on for you and myself. <laughs> there we go. Love the black and white, yeah. I think, which do I like that? I do like the black and white with a touch of pink, but this one, because I love clean and simple, can we see how it looks? It's just shimmering. It's really, really pretty. But it is personal choice. Low tack tape. Will you do low tack tape? I can do low tack tape, no problem. No problem at all. Come and get your points. So there we go. What a lovely, lovely Saturday afternoon. So that last item that I use, the stencils, they are flying and you're all taking advantage of the ink pads as well, which is brilliant. Just be mindful, don't have them sat in your baskets. I don't want to have to remove them. But the lovely stencil bundle, 100139. And the ink pads we have lots of, so please don't worry about that. But it's lovely to see you all. If you're catching the show later, please check stock availability. And sometimes things do bounce back out of people's baskets as well. So keep checking the website all of the time. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cosy. As always, Simon's here with you on Monday. And I'm back here on Tuesday. I'll see you all then. Have a lovely day, guys. Take care. Bye.